Happening right now, another hearing is underway at the State House discussing Governor Gina Raimondo's Roadworks plan and its contentious proposal to toll trucks to cover that cost. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from the State House with the latest. Well, the hearing has really just begun tonight. This is the first time the House is hearing about the Roadworks plan this year. The House Finance Committee is going through the 16-page bill line by line, making sure they understand it. It's the same bill that was introduced to the Senate Finance Committee yesterday. Now, there's been plenty of supporters and opponents to this bill, which includes 14 tolling locations for large commercial trucks in Rhode Island. Those supporters and opponents are both expected to testify this evening. And coming up new at 6, we're going to talk with RIDOT Director Peter Alviti about the opposition that's come out to this bill and also what he calls some misconceptions. We're live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Well, now the latest developments on the toll proposal. Tonight, a House committee is hearing the Roadworks proposal that would charge large trucks a fee to use Rhode Island highways. It's just 24 hours after a Senate committee heard the same plan, which lawmakers appear to be putting on the fast track. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live at the State House. Tonight's hearing is expected to go into the night just like last night's as truckers, businesses and labor unions have strong opinions on both sides of the truck tolls debate. We have a handout here. Hopefully. This afternoon, Rhode Island Director of Transportation Peter Alviti made his pitch again for roadworks, this time to a House committee. We also asked him to respond to hours of testimony in a Senate committee last night where truckers said this plan would hurt their bottom line. Where everywhere else along the eastern seaboard, uh, trucking companies are paying uh, tolls. Uh, Rhode Island is one of the only states that doesn't charge them. The new plan calls for 14 tolling locations. Many people have expressed concern that once the toll gantries go up, it would be easy to start tolling cars. Alviti says there's no plans to do that and points out the new version of the bill requires a public statewide referendum if the state ever considers tolling cars in the future. They would decide for themselves if uh, the, if tolls were ever to be imposed on cars. He also responded to truckers who say they'll just go around the tolls. To divert around a $3 toll is going to cost them much more in gas and time than paying the $3 toll itself. And the hearing continues with public testimony tonight. The witness list is growing longer and longer. At last check, I counted 13 people signed up to testify in favor of Roadworks and 16 people signed up to testify against. One of those is a representative from Ocean State Job Lot. We'll bring you all those details coming up tonight at 10 and 11. We're live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.